Hello, this is Haka Bean, and today we are going to be reading about the origins, well, some theorized origins of SCP-001 when day breaks. This is from the canon Daybreak, which is about exactly that. Today we are reading SCP-7941, also known as the Battle of the Helmsman by the, the, the canon and page that I got this from. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Marshall Schematic of SCP-7941 Item number, SCP-7941, Object Class, used to be Thaumiel, now it's neutralized. Special Containment Procedures SCP-7941 has been destroyed due to ongoing XK a triangle class solar singularity scenario indirectly caused by its destruction. Our containment measures are neither possible nor necessary. The only use to, the only fun use to speak with SCP-7941 an A has been and lost and is presumed destroyed. There will be no further contact. Description SCP-7941 refers to the SCP-SS Renard, an experimental interstellar spacecraft. It was ellipsoidal in shape, 200 meters in length and 95 meters at its widest diameter. SCP data, la data lost. Ooh, what's this? Mothchild, Outer Class. Dot at a loss. It's really hard to read. Had been reworked into its means ends of forward thrust, allowing SCP-7941 to hypothetically reach speeds faster than C while bypassing the temporal effects of relativity. The recorder is for 150 crew members, 10 officers, and 50 D-class personnel. SCP-7941's purpose was to provide SCP. 10,409. Left petite prince a tier object class kind of assumed neutralized from the SK Delta event. Oh, that's Delta. With an annual supply of D class personnel to function as trip to a sacrifices is through protocol 39 Renard. Due to SCP 10409's fixed position in the center of the inner orange cloud, as well as the fact that all attempts to negotiate more reasonable demands from SCP 10409 had resulted in high aggression towards humanity, O5 Command approved the use of anomalous means to execute Pro Call 39 Renard. In addition to modern flight's progress, 50 members of SCP 7941's crew were selected to receive modified SCP 2922 notes from the under of the class safe immune communication between the human mind and a telephone. A version was also able to receive audio as experienced by the hu implanted human subject. Implantation including 10 D class. The latter were monitored discreetly while the former maintained communication with ground control. Addendum, Instant 7941 Rogue. On uh, May 19, 2025, 10 minutes after SCP 7941 reached Earth's orbit on its maiden voyage, SCP Data Loss became self aware with the thrust, with th uh, thrust mechanism. SCP Data Loss then proceeded to email O5 Command, a text document composed of the word shiny repeated for or by 10 to the their ninth power times. Sheesh. Following this, the ship's navigational computer was immediately taken over by SCP that allowed us an irreversible crash course was set for the sun. Oral cyanide caplets were distributed among all onboard personnel, including D class.
Only one member of SCP-7941's crew had survived incident 7941 Rogue, D-81 and 840. Zachariah Martin Kent, a 32-year-old old man of Af oh, Jamaican descent. He was the seventh D-class on board SCP-7941 to be implanted with SCP-2922. Following incident 7941 Rogue, the 8-18-40 had become SCP-7941-A which has five I have seventy nine forty one clearance required. SCP twenty nine twenty two logs with D eighty one eight oh four abridged. Begin log five twenty 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 five. Six minutes until SCP-7941 reached the maximum safe distance from the unfortunate human survival. Note, M refers to the 1840s inner thoughts, while V refers to his vocalizations. SCP-2922 is capable of picking up both through an audible timbre shift, which is these voices from one another. Several alarms can be heard within the cabin. How much long is this gonna take? Maybe I should... Uh, rub one out while I still can. Wow, that went really vulgar really fast. How many people all can say they've jerked in zero G? Then again, I don't wanna die doing that. It's not like anyone's gonna find out, right? The 8 1840, come in. Yups, I'm not saying that name again. God, is that you? This is Dr. Sylvia Tanner of Sci Foundation Site 59. Oh, hi, Doc. Are you God? No such luck. I'm reaching out to you from ground control. From the intercom? I'm connecting to your mind. Are you sure you're not God? Stay focused. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Sure, but I don't think I've got much time to be chatty. Yes, I'm aware of your situation and I'm sorry. Eh, not like it'll be a boring death. Scanners indicate that you're the only survivor on the Renard. Why don't didn't you take a cyanide pill? I thought those were optional. They were, just curious, I suppose. I mean, it's kind of counterintuitive. I'm already about to die instantly. Why add an extra step? That doesn't make sense. Good point. But we thought you might would have liked to take back one last piece of control from an otherwise uncontrollable situation. But that's the thing, Doc. I don't want to take control. Pardon? He sighs deeply. Long story. You probably got more important things to do than listen to me. He literally ran bolt to death. Look, the foundation's not about basic decency. I don't mind staying on with you till the end. <laughs> we'll agree to disagree about whether or not I deserve it. But I'll humor you. On one hand, yes, I'm suicidal. Anyone who's had to listen to me whine for more than five minutes knows that. On the other hand, I want to be killed, not just die. Big difference. What do you mean? Suicide is an escape. I want to be punished by some force stronger than myself. If I've done something bad, anything bad at all, it never stops bothering me until I've gotten my comeuppance. And the whole rest of the world has gotten a little bit wrong until I've resolved the issue. That's how it's always been and for me. My parents weren't slap happy or nothing. I guess that's... I guess just the way my brain's wired. And what have you done to deserve being shot into the sun? You guys from the prisons, right? You must have done a background check, and if you haven't, 
Then you see the news six years ago, Zach Kent, the Benberg Lake incident. Heart react for Comstock enlightened me. All right, well, back in 2019, I was living in Fort Worth and doing three jobs at once, just to make ends meet. Driving school buses in the morning and early afternoon, flipping burgers until 8, 8 p.m., and hauling boxes for FedEx at the airport until bedtime. I wasn't aware that having a hectic schedule was an unpardonable offense. But here's the thing, the night after Valentine's Day, I had to go overtime at the airport, finally got home at 4.30. I don't see what this has to do with- oh. Yeah, the school bus. I had to be at the base at 4.30 to do maintenance checks on my new engine. And 5.30 I was to get my first round uh, owns of second graders to Anthony Comstock Elementary. I shotgunned a couple of all boys of monsters to keep my eyes open. It didn't do shit. It just meant I was falling asleep to the sound of a jackhammer in my rib cage. I slapped myself a couple of times, but that didn't work. So first grader or with a student university backpack saw me, he went touch me. He gently in the arm. Are you okay, mister? I didn't even answer. The road in front of me wasn't even a road. It was a blurry painting of hasty strokes of orange, yellow, and blue. As far as I heard, it wasn't a scream. There wasn't a scream from third grader saying specific room was gay. Thump, thump, snap. Splash. By the time it came to, ooh, the bottom of my air freshener was touching the water level. A fire truck was towing us out of a lake. I look back, twenty shades of blue eyes staring in back at me from a pile, saying nothing. Every night when I sleep, I gotta spend two hours chasing that mental image out of my head. My niece was on that bus. Evelyn Kent. And those 19 others, they didn't even know my name, but they trusted me. The judge ended up giving me 200 years for every kid. Total bullshit! I was in Texas! The state birds, probably the electric chair. Why didn't I get the death penalty? Before you say that, being locked up with all that guilt is fun for me enough. Of one, my cell bed was surprisingly comfy. And two, common superstition, but there's six of Allen's in Fort Worth's collection car collective car, but thanks to me. Bad things should never happen to good uh, people. Not without consequences. Especially not kids. Um, D1840? I don't care if it was manslaughter instead of murder. No amount of legal legalese can explain that shit to me. I should have ignored my public defender, pled not guilty, represented myself, showed no remorse. More than eight, eight have killed, oh, maybe then they'd have killed me. And I wouldn't have, have to feel like an unfinished freaking and math problem. Mr. Kent, what? You've reached what should have been the minimum lethal distance to the sun 32 seconds ago. What? How do you feel? Honestly, the AC was way too low when I boarded the ship, and it still is. 24 seconds of intense reveling and shrieking alarms. Um, your speed is increasing unexpectedly. Well, Doc, it's been real. It takes a rare or, or kind of heart to keep a bastard like me company. The rumbling and alarms abruptly end. As for me, I'm gonna go off and get that final catharsis I've been chasing for so... Okay, hold up. Why the fuck am I still alive? Fresh. He quickly had prevented lights. This can't be right. He's really going to say that you're literally inside the sun, and one of your doors just opened from the outside. 
Still chilly? Yeah, what the hell? If that's the... Guys, I'm going to need to, you to speak to me with only your... Only with your mind until further notice. Can you manage that? Like this? Yes, exactly. A loud wheezing voice is heard. Unknown. You. Is it in the room with you? Can you see it? I think so. It's standing on the ceiling. What do you see? Bird priest? You. New resident. Unexpected. Listen, do not engage in conversation until I authorize you to. Oh uh, yeah, hello there. My name's Zach. Do you speak English? I oh, forgot to say. Somewhat. Dictionary equals incompletion. Fine, but whatever you do, do not let them know I'm talking to you. Got it. Listen, could you tell me where I am and who you are? Location. Style. Self. Naruka, chiefest, life monger. Did it say so? What's important about that? Nothing I... What's important about that? Nothing I can elaborate, but I think you're about to find out on your own. I won't always respond, but I'll keep this line open and recorded, so be sure to period periodically check in with me about what we're seeing. Got that? Might as well, I got nothing better to do. Come, our castle, deathless, receive your immortality, eternal safety. God fucking damn it. Uh, great. When do I start? End of log. Whoa, what's this? Oh. You always say that. Don't do that. An offset. Oh, geez. This one's going to be long. Okay. We're going to have to go back. Guys, that's going to have to be it for today's video. And after three hours, three days, and this will be a document. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I think I know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!